This, this idea of purity and you're never compromised and you're always politically woke and all that stuff, I, you should get over that quickly. But I do get a sense sometimes now among certain young people, and this is accelerated by social media, there is this sense sometimes of the way of me making change is to be as judgmental as possible about other people. And that's enough. Like if I tweet or hashtag about how you didn't do something right or used the word wrong verb or then I can sit back and feel pretty good about myself because man, you see how woke I was? I called you out. <laughs> Most of the leaders of the civil rights movement were your age. I mean, Dr. King, when he first started with the Montgomery bus boycott, was 25, 26. One place to start when you think about where do we go next, how do we continue um, to bring about greater equality, greater justice, greater opportunity, uh, is to remind yourselves that uh, the same doubts, uncertainties, struggles, difficulties, challenges that sometimes may weigh you down, they were going through. The most important thing for all of you is to remember that the work you're doing in this place at this moment is not going to be the beginning and it's not the end. Each of us have to constantly remind ourselves we're born into a society, we can't completely remake society in a minute. So we have to make some accommodations to the existing structures. This feel like the accommodation I'm making to this existing structure, am I contributing more or less to the things I want to change? Am I part of the solution or am I part of the problem? It was an evolution that took place over time as I tried to align what I believed most deeply with what I saw around me and with my own actions. If you want to know what your values are right now, Look at where you're putting your time, your money, your energy. For me, it was much more me trying to be the person I wanted to believe I was. And at each phase, challenging myself and testing myself against the world to see if, in fact, I could have an impact and make a difference. Over time, you'll surprise yourself. There are parts of the world in which being an activist is not just a matter of sacrificing higher pay or, you know, having longer hours or experiencing frustrations. Parts of the world where you'll be imprisoned. You do what you can, uh, but this is a long path. And so if at any point, the threats or uh, dangers that are presented from your work uh, get to be too great, you should not feel as if uh, you are somehow compromised. It's, it's, it's useful to just remind ourselves that there are a bunch of different ways to have an impact. Most social change starts with a story. The reason the civil rights movement got all that it accomplished was not because John Lewis and SNCC workers had an army behind them. At first, they didn't even have the laws behind them but they did have a story behind it.